Troy from Sewerquip. Today we've got a block drain that we're going to unblock with our water jetting machine. So the first thing you do when you're setting up for your water jetting machine is to make sure you've got the suitable protective clothing on, which means I wear, I've got some Kevlar rated high pressure cleaning gloves here. There is also a Kevlar apron that you can get out of your Class B safety package and you make sure you've got adequate pedestrian warning signs and then you can go to your drain and clear the choke. So obviously we're at this choke because it's blocked up. So to start with, we would usually send down a penetrating head. So this is a sharp pointy style of nozzle that goes down the drain and puts an initial hole in the choke to let the water out. So then we can start up with some of our, our root cutting heads or some flushing heads. So we'll just take a quick look at now how the jet goes. So to start your jetter, you make sure you've got your fuel tap in the on position. Make sure your e-stop is out. Make sure your ball valve is in the open position. keep on pushing your penetrator head down to the choke um, and then once you work it through the choke you pop through the other side um, that means you, you've, you've put a hole in the choke so it lets the water drain away um, then you can bring your, your reel back and connect up to your root cutting or flushing heads and then run that down to clear the choke properly and then you can send your camera down and take a look at, at the work and make sure you've done the job right. So the head we were just using then was a penetrating head um, it does have rear facing jets, so there's three rear facing jets and one forward jet and it's shaped in a bit of a point. So as that's going down the drain that's trying to penetrate the choke to get a hole through the, through the choke as we spoke about before. And how the thing thrusts itself down the drain is there is rear facing jets as well. So it'll pull itself down the drain but it's the front jet and the shape of this head that actually penetrates the choke to allow the water to drain out so then you can start up your other root cutters or flushing heads. So a traditional root cutter is what we call the reverse turbo. This, this jet ha has no front jet, this nozzle has no front jet, and it only has a rear jet, a turbo. So you click it onto your hose and it goes down the drain like that with all the power coming out the rear with nothing coming out the front. So you need to make a fairly decent hole first with one of your penetrators before you can actually start your root cutter up and clear the roots out of the drain. This head here is just a general flushing head. So again, it's more of a dome-shaped head, um, and it's got six rear jets, so there's a lot more power coming out the rear, so that's gonna pull down the drain a lot harder. It does have a front jet to help clear a path for itself, but traditionally these heads are, are good for flushing. <laughs> 